Hey everybody, hope you guys are having a great day. Just want to give you guys an update on how you can set up automatic investments within your Fidelity account. Uh, so I'm going to show you utilizing my accounts here and some of the information might be blocked out so I can keep myself some confidentiality and what have you, but um, I'm going to show you the basic process. What you need to do before you start this process is already have a linked up account and I will set up the card for uh, um, setting that up in the upper right hand corner and I'll show up right about now and basically what this is going to do is just go into your account and say you have a Roth IRA or individual brokerage account and you want to contribute your six thousand dollars a year or you want to contribute you know on a monthly basis five hundred dollars a thousand dollars fifteen hundred dollars um, you can set that up and have no problem uh, what's we're going to talk about is basically showing you how to do that and you can set up what day of the month you want it to transfer so if it's coming from say a checking account and you get paid you know once a month or twice a month um, like I get paid the 15th on the last day of every month uh, I have it set up so on the 15th of every month it pulls automatically from my checking account into my individual brokerage account so that I can utilize those funds to invest further Another thing that you can do is set up automatic investments. I personally can't do this, um, and the reason being is because in order to do this, you need to have an investment in a mutual fund uh, where basically it will automatically take the money that you're providing to it and say it's $1,000, $1,500, and invest it into a mutual fund of your choice or multiple mutual funds of your choice. Now, since because I generally do ETFs and individual stocks, I can't do that. But within the same video, I will show you how to do that. For those of you that are new to the channel, uh, I basically talk about my portfolio that I have. I started about six, seven years ago, and I've been investing now uh, since then, since about 2012, 2013 time frame. And what I discuss on a monthly basis is, you know, how much I made the month before in dividends, YouTube income, and what my goals are for that year, and what my ultimate goal is for, say, the next year, uh, so 2019, 2020. So to give you an idea is what I might be talking about. I might be referencing a video like how I made $500 in April. I just made that video yesterday and uploaded it yesterday. And in that video, I talked about made $500 in dividends in April and my goal and how far and close I am to getting to my 2020 goal, like $12,000 a month. So other than that, this is going to be a relatively quick video. So hopefully you guys can bear with me. Uh, but all you would need to do is sign into your Fidelity account like we have here uh, and then you would click on your accounts and go down to account features and this would bring up a multitude of different things like payments and transfers brokerage and trading uh, and within here you can see you can reinvest your dividends track your cost basis what have you sign up for margin accounts options uh, I might make this a different video where you, you can kind of look into where you can reinvest your dividends which I think is a good thing especially if you have a very small account and you're trying to grow your account to larger and larger sizes but in this case we're going to look at payments and transfers this makes sense because we're going to be transferring automatically from our bank account or a different account you can also set up direct deposit uh, say if you want to send money directly from your paycheck into your brokerage account or your individual retirement account and give me some uh, some leniency in the next little bit because it's going to show up some of my accounts i'm going to have to block that information out so um, appreciate you guys being patient with this part click on this and what it's basically going to show up is all of the different accounts that you might have and at the moment um, i automatically deleted or i not automatically but i deleted the transfers that i already had um, so that way we could kind of do it as if it was brand new uh, so you could have each of your accounts, whether it's an individual YouTube account or a Roth IRA. In this case, um, I basically take my Roth IRA money. I wait until the first or second um, month of the year and put all my $6,000 in at once. So um, no need to set up an auto investment there. But if you don't have money saved up in your savings, you might want to set up an automatic investment for yourself. So I personally set up uh, an, about a $1,500 a year um, in my or sorry fifteen hundred dollars a month in my individual brokerage account uh, so what's showing up on the screen now is after we're trying to set this up is 
You can transfer it directly from an account. You can transfer and invest, and that's what I was talking about a little bit earlier. You can directly invest into a mutual fund. Uh, and the last part is you can um, direct that strictly from your core position. So what it means is you're going to be investing, say, $100 every month into a specific mutual fund or what have you. Um, the middle one is basically saying you're transferring from your bank account $100, and then you're taking that $100 and investing it in the mutual fund. What the last one is saying, invest funds from core position, is you're saying if you have any cash, you're investing that $100. And then obviously the first one is you're just transferring money from your, say, checking account into your, um, into your brokerage account. So, like I said, I don't have any mutual funds currently invested. Uh, if you do have mutual funds invested already in your Fidelity account, you can then use these other two positions. Um, and if I were to click on this, uh, it would basically say, you don't have any mutual funds, um, but this is the $1,500 transfer that we're going to be setting up. Uh, in order to do this, purchase the mutual fund first, and then you can come back at a later date and automatically set up investments. What I'm going to do, transfer funds from external account, and um, what I'm going to do is transfer funds from the account, and what this is basically going to show you guys is all the different things you can do. So you're going to see the account that you're looking for, the bank that you have. I'm going to cross out some of these numbers here so you can't really see them. Um, and if you don't have a bank, you have an opportunity to set it up here. But for me, in this particular case, I'm going to set up a $1,500 a month investment. I used to do 1000 but I recently uh, started making a little bit more money at work. So I'm not going to use that to increase my lifestyle, but rather increase the frequency that I can invest. And what it's automatically going to do is say, since I'm recording this on the 18th of May, automatically try to get you to invest on the 18th of the month. But if you open this up, you can choose whatever month you want. I personally do the 15th because I get paid on the 15th, the last day of every month. But you could also choose, say, the first of every month if, if that's when you start to do all your finances or what have you. And you can choose what frequency you want. Do you want it to be the first month of every quarter, second month, third month? Create your own custom schedule. And um, I personally am going to do the 15th of every month, um, monthly basis, and no stop date. Let me scroll down a little bit here. So no stop date for me um, because every month I want to invest. But if you say I only want to do it for 2019 or 2020, you can set up the date at which you want to stop investing. Um, so that's basically it for this part. We can just hit next here. And it will talk through this entire part, uh, basically saying, hey, this is the account you're transferring it from, what date, how often, when it's going to stop, if it is going to stop. In my case, it is not. And it kind of gives you some, some material they need to run through, um, talking about God knows what sort of other things. You read through it. Um, and if you say basically want to get out of this, you just go back to update account and features and cancel this. Um, so kind of like how we did before, um, and actually we'll probably show you. And for our purposes, we will hit I agree. And it will show up with a confirmation. Now, let me just show you if you want to cancel this. Basically, just click on this again. And now it'll show you uh, how often this is going to happen. And if you wanted to delete it or edit it, uh, you just go to this manage part and you can hit the delete button, edit, change the frequency, or skip one paycheck, uh, or skip one month or what have you. And it's as simple as that. Um, what I might try at a different date is look at some of the mutual funds, find one that I would actually want to invest in. I was looking at some NASDAQ ones earlier that were really outperforming most of the S&P 500. Um, so I was thinking about setting one up for that. But in this case, um, for just the simplicity of video and making sure that you guys have automatic transfers like I do, um, you can start to understand uh, why I might not necessarily reinvest my dividends into my brokerage account because you see $500, $400 every month coming out of my brokerage account and plus the $1,500 every month. It starts to make sense that now I have about 2000 to 3000 every couple months to automatically invest into a new position or a position that I think is currently um, need to be averaged down at that point. 
So that's really it for this video. Just wanted to walk you guys through that. Um, want to make sure that you guys have the ability to kind of set it and forget it. I think what the biggest thing that some people need to recognize is if cash is just sitting in your checking account, uh, you think you have more money than you actually do. And if you see, let's say, $5,000 in your checking account and your expenses, expenses, expenses I'm sorry, only about $1,000 a month, you're going to want to automatically spend that extra four thousand. You're going to say, "Oh my God, I have so much left." But in actuality, if you say only make five thousand a month and you're sending fifteen hundred away to your individual brokerage account, it's really limiting that extra spending that you're doing, and it's really forcing you to to save and making it automatic. So that way, you don't have to even think about it on a monthly basis. And you can even go a step further that I have and automate some of the investments if. You really want to be mindless about it. Um, I personally like to invest in my individual stocks because um, I think this is a hobby of mine. And some people might just say, I want to invest. I know a friend of mine, she just wants to invest and she doesn't ever want to think about it. She just wants to transfer money, invest. And in 20 years, she just wants the money to be there. Uh, I personally look at this on you know, once a day, twice a day, just because I love seeing the numbers and I love seeing the effort that I'm putting in at work uh, and I love seeing the dividends come in and, and the positions and the trends go up and down. Uh, that's just something that's a hobby of mine. So um, really pertains to, to what you think about investing and, and how you operate as a person. But uh, that's really it. I really appreciate you guys stopping by and watching the video. If you guys have any suggestions about what videos you'd like to see, uh, if this video is helpful or not helpful, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a comment down in the subscription, uh, sorry, leave a comment down in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to answer. I tried my best to get to every single answer. Sometimes I realize, um, you know, I might go on a hiatus for a day or two. But generally speaking, I get very surprised when I see a comment goes unanswered after a week or so. So thank you again for everybody watching the channel. If you guys have any suggestions, um, feel free to let me know. And I will talk to you in the next video. Have a great week.